Yes, my people, how are we doing today? Back again for another vlog. Crystal Palace are taking on Wolverhampton Wanderers at Sales Park. I expect nothing but three points. If we don't win, I'm going to be absolutely fuming and I won't be happy. I'm not going to lie. Look, we need to win these kind of games. If the club's aim is to get top 10, these are the games we've got to win, especially at home and that as well, because over the last couple of seasons, our home form has been a lot better than our way for against teams around us like Wolverhampton Wanderers. We haven't had the best start, struggling to score goals. They got their first win last week against Everton who haven't even won a game yet this season. So, you know, they're not really putting up any trees. So, you know, this is a game that they know they've got to really fight hard and try and get signed out of. But equally, we've got to do the same and work 10 times harder than the Wolves do if we want to get three points. It's going to be a close one in that. Now, it's been an interesting week being a Palace supporter and that as well. You know, our transfer window being frustrating. We needed a winger and a striker. We haven't, you know, we've been calling up and barking for a centre forward for us to sign this summer. We ain't got one going into the season with Mateta and Edward up front. It's a bit of, you know, it's a bit of a bummer and really just kind of a bit low and just shows a bit of a lack of ambition you know we needed more strength in attack and yeah we haven't really done that palace palace make it hard for ourselves it's like new season same more problems financially and behind the scenes man however today if we are to win if we do win which i expect and i hope for the smiles around Sellers park will increase and there'll be a bit more happiness and a bit more of a pleasant environment because it's been a bit of a meltdown recently on Twitter from the Palace fans. Now, this week's also been interesting in that as well. Well, over the last week, I should say, because Brentford was over a week ago. We went there, got a fair one all draw, played a lot better second half and deserved to get the point than we did in the first half. So, yeah, a fair draw. Midweek, we played Plymouth in the League Cup, but beat number four goals to two Mateta, scoring a hat trick and kind of redeeming himself. Would he start over Red Wide? Would it surprise me? Because he actually did look sharp for once in that as well. Of course, we were 2 0 down in that game and came back fighting hard. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a close one today. I think we just got to take our chances. Have a bit of quality, be composed, don't panic and yeah, just play to the best of our ability, you know, hopefully in that and we'll get the three points. I'm going to go for two on win, see you lot on the way to Sellers Park, come on you Eagles. Someone, someone said he head by him, God knows. But it's probably not clearing off his for a red. Yeah, saw that out referee, bloody hell. I think he's booked him, I don't even know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Edward's through is the onside, looks like it. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Right at the, oh my God. Is that the best you could do, Edward? Right at the keeper, I mean, come on. Smalls who are quicker than us on the counter attack. What a save from Johnson. This is an appalling first half from us. We're running it in, but we can't finish. And just, I went product man ain't there. We're just slow moving the ball, it's pathetic. Thank God they can't score because the chances they have, they should maybe be one, well, probably should be one nil up. Ooh, what a load of old rubbish, mate. Shocking, abysmal, depressing. I mean, that was embarrassing. I mean, we created a little bit. Rules couldn't finish. I mean, two teams that can't score for Toffees and gonna have a similar, similar sort of campaign to last year, really. So, 
No one at all. Roy and Ray got a lane to the players, but shambolic. Oh, I wouldn't say it was shambolic. He's really well, got out there, was, but was again, it's <laughs> our forward line. There's yeah. no movement. I mean, you know, we, we sort of play well in, in phases. We had a great chance. Are oh, you should have scored it? I mean, they made the mistake that's in the all, back. That's all we did. We didn't that's all them, we did, though, innit? But that's all we. That's all that we had. Fix up, Palace man. How are you, Palace man? Switch on. What are you going to do with this, Mitchell? That defending from a set piece, basic schoolboy stuff. I don't even know. I, I don't even care who scored it right now. I mean, oh man, flip it out. territory all day. Cobble your eagles. Come on. Dab. Dab. I misrecorded it. Ah! Ok, 
goes Edward for Will Hughes. Fair play to him, redeemed himself in the second half. And on comes Hughesy! He's for a fourth. Oh. Oh, we've got a corner. Eze, what a player. Come on. Eze's on fire. Double Palace, still got three minutes to go fourth. Just scored a second, 3-2, three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. It's got to be it, surely. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that was an eventful game. <laughs> oh, my God. My heart was racing there at the last second. Bloody hell. Eels. Yes, seven. <laughs> yes, my people. Boy, I am absolutely buzzing right now. Three points, three goals. Yeah, we can see the two sloppy goals, but listen, it's all about the three points. Thought the first half we were poor. Came out second half in the first what like five minutes or so. We didn't really live up to the hype. Score that goal, completely turn it around. You'd think, but no, we do it the hard way with Crystal Palace. We never make it easy. Wolves level, and then after that, it was just magic from Odson Edward and. Ebire Eze, absolutely superb goals to put us 3-1 up. I mean, I know we conceded late on, disappointed, a bit annoyed there. But we got the three points. We got the win before the international break. Said at the beginning of this vlog, these are games we've got to win if we want to get top 10. That's our aim, to get top 10. And we did it, you know. Weren't the easiest, but we put up a good fight. Second half, you know, we took our chances when needed. We were ruthless. Yeah, we probably should have had about four or five, maybe even six for some of the chances we missed. But we did well enough. Man of the match, we're going to give it to Eze. I know Edouard got two but um, Eze was just clinical, superb, and he was completely just, you can see why he's out. He's our number one man at the moment, really, isn't it? Although saying that Edward is our top scorer. So, yeah, impressed with Mateta when he came on and that as well, really changed the game. Love the assist for the Edward goal. Yeah, of course, Wolves, a lot of problems in that. We move on to Aston Villa after the international break and then Fulham home afterwards. I believe we've got Forrest soon and that within the next month. So it'd be really, really close. We've got to win them games to pick up as many points as we can. It won't be easy, but let's bring it on. I think right now we're in a good position with Frank and Elisa to come back and we'll be cooking up front, hopefully. I don't think we're going to get relegated this season. I think there's like five, six worse teams in the Premier League than us right now. So yeah, bring it on. And that's the bell ringing, probably the pizza that I've ordered. But yeah, um, I'm absolutely loving it right now, man. You know, the home style was rocking. And, you know, it was superb. The limbs were unreal. The scenes, the atmosphere was just next level. Big up to the people there and that as well. But listen, Roy he gets results. He grinds out the top performances that we need during periods of the game to get us them wins and victories and gave us as many points as we need. It's been a good week goal scoring wise. Seven goals in our last two games this week and that as well. Where Plymouth lost today against Wolves. I'm really pleased in that too. And uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm gonna try to go to a few more games and that obviously. And then um, there's something I do need to tell you a lot, but we'll talk about it within the next month. But yeah, I'm happy, man. You know. Good to be in the home still and see a lot of goals scored. Three goals in that second half, man. I was just over the moon. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable scenes. Come on, you Eagles, man. Up the palace.